Hi guys, okay, today we're gonna be doing a full face first impressions. Now I got my basket here of all stuff that I wanna try and we're just gonna jump right into it. I'm going to pull my hair back and scoot you in close and we'll just jump right in. Okay, we scooted in a little too close for comfort. We're gonna start off with the eyes. Now I don't have a new eyeshadow primer, so I'm just gonna take my NYX white eyeshadow base and prime my lids. And the eyeshadow palette we have to play with today is the Morphe 24A Artist Pass palette. And I kind of do a pink look. I feel like that'll look really pretty with my blue shirt. But this is what we have going on with the palette. And I'll play with like this shade and the coral and the bright pink. And yeah, that's what we have going on for that. And I'm going to real quick prime my eyes. And I might do my first eye off camera and then walk you through the process. Okay, so this is what the first eye looks like so far. I may or may not have already put a color on this crease. I went to do it and I was like... Oh crap, we're only doing one eye. So let me tell you what's on my crease right now. So all in my crease and up to my brow bone is the shade Stage Persona, which is that shade. And then next we're gonna go in with this shade right here, which is Indio Woe, which is like a, you can't tell on camera, but it's like a corally peach shade. We're gonna take that shade and blend it in. Okay, so that's blended in. Now we're gonna take the Max Volume shade, which is that hot pink, and that's going just in the crease very slightly and on the outer third of my lid, or the outer two thirds. And then I'm gonna carve out my lid using some concealer. And then we're going to stamp on the shade All Access, which is this really shimmery white iridescent shade. I'm going to do that with my finger. And then to blend the pink and the shimmer shade together, I'm just going to take my brush, whatever's left on it, and just slightly go back and forth between the two. So we have something like that. And then I'm gonna real quick clean up under the eyes and I will be back. Okay, under eyes are cleaned up. Next, I'm gonna scooch you out for a minute. So I have a damp sponge. This is the Eco Tools sponge. I've never used this sponge, so this is part of the first impressions. And then I didn't have a first impression foundation because if you don't know, I do first impression foundations every Saturday on my channel. So what I do have though is foundations I've only used once or twice. So we're gonna, that's the only thing I don't have a first impression for. But I mean, I've only used it once, so I still don't, I know my feelings. Okay, so I do have a primer I want to use. The primer I want to try today is this one. I got in an Ipsy. It's the Kiss Matte Pure Vitamin C Primer, all natural, paraben free, path light free, USA made. And it's a glitter primer. Oh my goodness, it's so pretty. Can you guys see the glitter? So we just took the lid off, shake it up, and I'm just gonna apply a little bit on the back of my hand so we can see the formula. Oh, it doesn't wanna come out. Okay, 10 years later. Is this ever gonna come out? Oh, there we go, okay. Okay, so, it's a clear primer, doesn't have a smell. What does it feel like? Um, very silicone-y. It feels very like silicone-y. I don't like the feeling of it, but it looks like this on the back of my hand. We're just gonna take a little bit of this and apply this to my face. I don't, definitely do not like the feeling of it. It's definitely a silicone based primer and you can see the glitter on the, my face. I don't mind it. It's not anything crazy. Okay, that primer is a no for me. I don't care what it does for my skin. I don't like silicone based primers. I only put that primer in my, like my T-zone area. So I'm going to also prime with this. This is the e.l.f. Dewy Setting Mist. Again, first impression, never used it. Let's spray a few pumps out. Ooh, looks like a good mist. We're going to spray this all over my face. It looks like a good mist, but it's a very harsh mist. Ooh, okay. Um... Mr. Cree's a little work. It's a nice mist, but it's harsh, if that makes any sense. It's good. It smells like coconuts. Okay, let's move on to foundation. I have this one. This is the You Can Be Natural Perfect Foundation in shade two, 002 Nude. I've used this once. I didn't like it. Um, 
but I don't know. I only used it once, so it's just, ooh, it's dark. It's dark. That shade is not a shade for me. Yeah, that's a little dark. Their shade range is not good at all. They have three shades. Terrible. No, no, no. It's an $8 foundation. You can get it on Amazon. And I'm just going to take the back of my sponge, and I guess we're just going to try to bounce this into my skin. It's The shade match is going to be a little dark. Okay, that shade is way off. I mean, even self-tanned, it's, I mean, it matches my arm over here, but it's, like, really off my chest and neck. Um, it did accentuate a little bit of texture. We'll see after we layer concealer and things on top, but it's not as bad as it could be. For concealer, though, today we're going to be using the Benefit Boing Cake List Concealer. I have heard great things about this from Jessica Braun, and we're just going to take this and generously apply this all over. Okay, all that's blended out, I think that shade matches 10 times better than I've, now that I've applied a second layer of freaking skin. Jeez, oh peeps. Okay, so this, one, this concealer is definitely not creaseless. We got some creasing going on, but it doesn't look as bad as a lot. Like some, obviously no concealer is gonna be a thousand percent creaseless. It's just like almost impossible, but it does look better than most. I'm going to real quick set my under eyes because if not, um, we would be in trouble. I'm going to use the YC Collection Loose Setting Powder in 117. I'm going to real quick just apply this and then I will tell you my thoughts. Ooh, so this is a yellow toned powder. It's going to be a little dark for my under eyes. Can you guys see that? But we're going to try it. Yeah, you can see this concealer is creasing. Okay, powder's on. We're not going to let this sit for very long at all because I'm already looking very, um, textured and uh, cakey so we're just gonna brush this away i don't think it was a terrible shade match um the powder wasn't too dark let's see what my under eyes look like under eyes looking very dry cape and crepey okay so i definitely won't be using that foundation again the concealer i like i think i just added way too much um powder's a no-go for me it kind of darkened my under eyes and i don't like that we're gonna set my or spray my face again with this setting spray because um, my skin could use some help. Okay, let's see, did that spray actually do anything? Yeah, you can see like I have droplets on my face. I mean, I can see a little glow in my skin, but as far as powderiness, it didn't help with that. So I definitely think that foundation is just a no, like that foundation just doesn't look good in my skin. Like look around my mouth. And my nose, like I just look cakey and gross. And that powder is just way too dark. I won't use it again to set my under eyes, but maybe to like set my face I would, but yeah, no. Okay, let's move on to eyebrows. For eyebrows, I have something which I'm surprised I've never tried. It's the e.l.f. Uh, Instant Lift Brow Pencil and Taupe. I'm gonna real quick do my eyebrows off camera because they're a pain in my butt to do. But it's just a pencil. And then on one side, it's got a spoolie, which I love. Um, I'm wondering if it's going to be a, like, thin pencil or a thick pencil because that really does matter. I cannot get this open. Jeez, oh, peeps. So, okay, it's a decently small pencil compared to what I was expecting. Um, I'm going to real quick just do my eyebrows and then I'll be back. Okay, eyebrows are done. Um, my thoughts. So, the pencil's nice. Don't get me wrong. Like, it is nice. However, I feel like I had to go over the same spot two or three times to actually get a decent color payoff. Is it... My favorite pencil, no. Am I saying add it to your next, you know, Ulta purchase? No, but it's okay. In a pinch, yeah, or if you're just starting out with makeup, it's a good one to practice with. However, it's just not my personal favorite and I wouldn't reach for it again. Let's move on to some, let's finish up under the eyes first. So we're gonna take that same 24A palette. I kind of want to put like a glitter in the inner corner because that would be pretty. Let's take this Indio Woe shade and put that on the lower lash line, keeping it really close to the lower lash line. Next, I'm going to take the Max Volume shade and smoke that. And on the lower lash line, right underneath that Indio Woe shade. Oh, sorry. Okay, so we have that. And then I'm going to take the same concealer I used to carve out my lid and apply this invite-only 
pressed glitter just in the inner corner. Okay, so that's done. You can kind of see it right there. I have some fallout, but that's not coming off. It's glitter. Those glitters were really easy to work with. Like, they stuck on a brush really nicely, and they stuck on that uh, concealer really nicely as well. So that's what we have for the eyes. That's all I'm going to do for the eyes. Next, we're going to bronze up the face. To do that, I'm going to take the Cover FX Sun Kissed Bronze Monochromatic Bronzer, and we're going to take this one. And I'm just going to real quick bronze up the skin. I really like that bronzer. Oh my goodness, it's so pretty. It is actually, I was worried about it being too dark, but it's actually a decent shade match for my skin. I'm that weird person who, I like to take my bronzer like way up into the high points of my face. I feel like it gives it that like natural look to it more, but I really, really like that. And then for blush, we're going to take this Natasha Denona Blush Duo in palette number 15 I guess and this shade right here and we're gonna apply that as my blush oh very very pretty I was worried that it wasn't really gonna show up but that showed up really nicely oh I love that blush it's so pretty and just like natural okay spray my face one more time for highlight I have a few different options the first one is this Catrice Cosmetics Deluxe Glow Highlighter looks like this and I want to take this shade and try to highlight with this. Now, I don't think this is going to show up, like, at all. Because these look very, just, like, not highlighty. So we're just going to apply this real quick. See if I can get anything to show up. Yeah, that's not doing much. Um, okay, time to move on. I'm going to take this Nabla highlighter in... Ozone, which I literally just almost dropped. Looks like this looks very, very pretty and promising. We're gonna take this and highlight. Okay. Oh yeah, that's better. Look at that. No highlight? Highlight. This is like that very wet skin look, which I love. Ugh, so pretty. And then we're gonna do lips. For lips, I have this. What is this? Bella in Argent 3 Plays Lipstick. It looks like this, very pretty packaging, but it's like a almost a darker nude and we're just gonna apply this. It's pretty, it's creamy. And then I'm going to go off camera real quick and apply this Tarte Man Eater Mascara. Okay, makeup is done. I'm not applying lashes. This look would be completely complete with lashes, but it's late. I'm taking this off and going to bed after this, so there's no need for lashes. So let's recap. First of all, that primer, no, no, no. Too silicone feeling for me, and I just didn't like it. Foundation, no. It's just too heavy and thick and cakey on the face. Uh, concealer, yeah, I really did like that. Powder, I wouldn't... Okay, so the powder's a no for me, just because the only way I use loose powders is to bake under my eyes, and that powder is not good for me personally for under my eyes. Uh, bronzer, yes, please. Blush, um, yes, please. Highlight, oh my gosh, yes. Uh, eyebrows, I mean... Mm -hmm. I wouldn't, it's not going to be my number one favorite, but it's not terrible. Eyeshadow, oh my gosh, yes. Look at this. I love Morphe eyeshadows. They just blend so nicely and they just look so nice. And then mascara, I actually really like it. Is it my favorite? No, but it, I mean, it did something and it looks nice. Lips, mm, it's creamy. Color's nice. It's okay. I Yeah, I like it. And then setting spray. Okay. So I, I don't like the setting spray. The setting spray is a no for me just because this mist is a little too intense for my liking. And then the sponge, I really did like this sponge. It was nice. But you guys, that is all. Let me know what you guys think down below. Have you used any of these products? If so, I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions. And you guys can subscribe down below as well. I post new videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. And you can follow me on social media. I'm on Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, and TikTok. And that is all. Thank you guys for watching and I hope you enjoyed. Can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye.